Hello. A young man that rose up from hell said, it is by your decision that you can choose where you go. By your decision to choose whether right or wrong, righteousness or unrighteousness, truth or lies, Jesus or Satan. Whatsoever you decide, that determines your eternity. So, choose wisely. This is every word of God for daily living where we come to hear the truth of God every day. You are welcome here today. God bless you as you have come. The Lord will bless you and teach you his word and give you the right way of righteousness and show you the paths of righteousness in Jesus name. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you, Father, for this moment, O oh Lord Jesus. We give you the glory for our lives. We give you the honor for this new day. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are here to hear your word, O oh God. Father, we pray that your word will speak to our spirit to transform, to deliver, to set free in the name of Jesus. We pray to you, O oh God, that as your word comes for you to come with power to deliver, O oh God, and bring the hearts of man closer back to you, O oh God. To restore, O oh God, and to return the ways of men, O oh God, that has departed from you back to you you in the name of jesus holy spirit i come under your able hands lord jesus that you will speak your word of truth through my mouth oh god in the name of jesus receive the glory lord we bless you be exalted forever in jesus name i pray amen hallelujah praise the lord amen our topic today is Teenager returns from hell with a message part two. Lisa Pasoparica, the international director of the Holy Server Movement Worldwide Short from Horemon. Happy Monday to you. Today is January 30th, 2023. I tested for the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 39 to 42. I read, Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping. And showing the coats and the garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turning him to the body said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes and when she saw Peter, she sat up and he gave her his hand and lifted her up and when he had called the saints and widows presented her alive and it was known throughout all Joppa and many believed in the Lord hallelujah hallelujah amen our key verse is taken from the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 42 and it was known throughout all Joppa and many believed in the Lord amen for the miraculous thing that the Lord did through Peter that Dorcas Tabitha rose up from the dead many were saved hallelujah amen so we continue our story from yesterday thanks again for being here as you've come the Lord bless you in Jesus name amen suddenly a mighty voice called him remember yesterday the boy was trying to um uh, uh, going he was trying to go to the right path he saw that people were going to the left side which was uh, the direction to hell to the broad way excuse me so he was thinking to himself don't they know that that path is the path of hellfire and he was decided within himself that when he gets to that path he's going to take the right path which leads to heaven so when he got to the path for him to turn he could not turn his legs were not taking him where his mind were so because then he realized then that it was on earth you can take those decisions by your lifestyle by believing in Jesus by choosing his right way his holiness and his righteousness he, 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 he it all dawned on him that uh, it is not your choice you cannot make choice after you have died it is when you are alive you have that power of choice to decide where you will go hallelujah amen suddenly a mighty voice called him thrice asking if he knew where he was going he answered that he was on his way to hellfire and began to plead for mercy the Lord showed him 
him mercy. He commanded him to come back, confess his sins, do his restitution, and give a warning message to his people. What a privilege. Hallelujah. Many are not so. Many just died even though they plead, but they did not get mercy. So while you are alive, it is better to take that choice than to believe for the mercy. The Lord knows your heart, remember? It doesn't work like this for everybody, but I thank God for this young man. Hallelujah. The Lord promised to send an angel to bring him to heaven afterwards. He said all his sins were loaded upon his chest as he carried them on the broad way to hell. He made several confessions, stealing handsets, selling stolen tipper load of sand and cheating his fellows while sharing the money. Maybe the money for his work, cheating in different ways. He also confessed of defiling a child, etc. He begged for forgiveness and asked his brother, the pastor, to help him go around and do restitution on his behalf. The brother diligently went to those places and as he confessed to them, they all said, yes, it is true, but now we forgive him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nurses, patients, and others wept openly confessing their sins and repenting to the glory of God. Meanwhile, his brother returned and reported that he was not able to see some of the people. The young man turned and prayed, Lord Jesus, I have done as you commanded, but we could not see some of them. Please, Lord, will you forgive me? The Lord Jesus replied, yes, I forgive you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a great privilege. I forgive you. That is what you need to hear from Jesus. You have done a sin long ago. Go and restitute your ways. Maybe you may say I've confessed it to the Lord, but you still see that person you have hurt and you have not told truth to. In the light of the truth, it has not yet come to him. You said a lie, but you have not yet made that lie a truth. Why not go and restitute your ways before the Lord comes or before the Lord takes you in this situation you see it's not just confessing but it's restituting his ways he went and he asked for forgiveness that is restitution and praise God they forgave him to those who he could not find or to 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 ask for forgiveness he asked the Lord I'm I, I, I'm I'm passing here a little bit because people are like oh I've asked God to forgive me what about the person you've offended what about the person you have stolen from? What about the person you killed his son? What about that laptop you took from your school? What about that thing you did? What about that money you stole from your parents? And you know that your mom really wept, but you have already used it and you didn't say the truth. Why not go back and confess to them? Rest, that is restitution. Go back and make a right the wrongs you have made. That is restitution. The Lord demands it from you. It's not just enough to say, oh Lord, I confess my sin, I confess my sin. And you see your mom every day, but you do not open your mouth. There's a, a, a young boy in the, in the Bible. He stole from his mom. And this morning, his mom has kept it to give to the Lord as a sacrifice, as an as a offer. She had vowed that money to the Lord. And his son went and stole that money. She rained curse on whosoever stole that money, it, that it shall not be well. She cursed out that person that stole the money. The boy was so afraid that he went straight to the mom and said, Mom, please, take back your curses. I stole the money. I am sorry. It's like he used from it already and the mom said my son the cause I I, I I take back if you the cost shall not come upon you because that money I cost because that money I have already vowed it to the Lord so it's like you are stealing God's money so my dear go and confess your sin that the cost that has been caused for those things you have taken those things you have done the cost placed on your head may be removed 
by your confession, by your restitution. May the Lord give you grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Back to the story. The Lord Jesus replied, yes, I forgive you. And as you go, you pray, ask for God's mercies to go, go with you. I tell you, I have not heard of anyone that went for restitution and they didn't get, I forgive you. Oh, I, I am thankful to God that you have come to confess. I haven't seen, my ears haven't heard of such. God goes with, the Bible say, mercy and truth have kissed each other. When you, when you say the truth, mercy will kiss you. The Lord will cause his mercy to go with you because you are now truthful. Remember the word of the Lord is here and amen. When you go, you will hear, I forgive you. Hallelujah. The young man shouted with joy and gratitude. He led the people gathered. He led the people gathered around him to the Lord in prayers. He bid farewell to his family, blessed his little sister, then told one of his brothers to repent, then shouted the angel to take me home. It's arrived has arrived. Hallelujah. What a glorious experience. He shouted at the angel to take me home has arrived home. I love that we're home. Now, Miss here on earth is not our own. Oh, you have a house. You have gotten it with how many thousands of dollars? Maybe even a million dollars. You've got it. So what? It shall burn away. The Bible says all the elements of the earth shall melt away. It shall burn away with fire. It shall be destroyed. If you are a child of God, your home shall be heaven. But if you are a sinner, hmm. I can't even call it a home. Your dwelling will be with worms and fire in hell. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. May God give you a repentant heart that you will always go before God with a humble heart to repent, to, so, to, to, to be sober in heart, to go to God to cleanse you, to purify you. Oh, that you may be cleansed and purified for the Lord's coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. He shouted, the angel has come to, to take me home. See him. He pointed at the angel, but the crowd could not see the angel. He was hale and hearty and in sound as he bid them farewell, then slumped and died. What a story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He's going home and he is at home now since 2015, right? Yeah, that's what the story said. He is with the Father at home in heaven. May you go to home. May you be with Jesus someday. May your white your robe, may your robe be white as snow or whiter than snow. May there not be any spot or wrinkle found in you. There were a lot of spots found in him. Thank God for mercy. Thank God for mercy. Oh, mercy drops around us are falling. May the mercies of God fall on you today. May the drops of mercy reach you today to open up your heart, to cause you to go to the Lord, to weep for yourself, to repent, to confess, and to come back to Jesus. Oh Lord, let your mercy drop, oh God, to bring the heart of your children back to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Any way anyone has fallen over Oh God, Jesus, knowing or unknowingly, I pray that your spirit will begin to minister to their spirit, oh God. Oh Lord, that they may quickly repent before it's too late. That they may quickly turn to you before it's too late. I pray that your spirit will guide your children, oh God, into the paths of righteousness, oh Lord. That none of us will fall on the wayside. Oh, our garment will not be stained. Jesus, help us to live truly holy for you. Oh Lord, without any 
spot or wrinkle. Lord, let the fruit of the Spirit be found in us day and night, O God. Let not one, O God, let none be missing from us, O God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Give us your grace, O God, and help us, O God, to arise and live in true holiness and righteousness, to live like Jesus. Oh, despite scourge, oh, despite spat on, oh, Lord, despite went to the cross to die for us on the cross of Calvary, he still did not went down. He did not use his power to, to, to destroy the soldiers that nailed his hand. He was not angry at them. He didn't curse out. Oh, he didn't uh, uh, have a sin in his heart. Oh, he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Lord, make us like you, oh God, that despite the persecutions and the evil and the trials and temptation we go through here on earth, we will say, Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Oh Lord, just like Stephen, oh God, he saw the heavens and he said, wow, I see the 24 elders. Oh Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Whether they throw stone at us or the enemy bite us so hard, Lord Jesus, help us to hold on to the end, oh God. Help us not to turn away, oh God. Let our flesh not get us. Let the enemy not get us. Oh Lord, whatever the strategy of the wicked against our soul to take us to hell, Jesus caused us to escape, oh God. Help us not to fall at the stone of stumbling, oh God. Help us to soar above it, oh God. Cause us to escape in the name of Jesus. Lord, that when you call on that day, we will say, yes, Lord, here yeah, I am, oh God. Oh, we will hear well done from you, oh God, my Father. You will be here. Come in, my beloved daughter. Come in, my beloved son, and take your rest. So shall it be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, for you are spoken again to draw our hearts close to you. Thank you, Lord. I worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know if there's anyone there that wants to surrender to the Lord Jesus. I just want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. I've sinned against man and God. Father, I ask for your mercy. Forgive me my sins, O Lord. I confess my sins. Begin to confess them to the Lord. Oh, tell it to the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I confess my sins. Oh, forgive me my sins. I promise, oh God, not to go back, never to turn back anymore. I receive your power to live righteous, to live holy, to live as a true child of God. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me my sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. Oh, now I'm a child of God. I'm a born again. Oh, never to go back to sin. Satan, lose your hold. I rebuke you out of my life. Oh, now. Now I'm a child of God. Thank you, Father, for answering me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I rejoice with you if you have prayed that prayer. Continue to walk in the holiness and the righteousness of God. Look for Pastor Parika on YouTube and Facebook. You will see messages of righteousness. Just tell it. You want to uh, uh, listen to how to be free from sin, how to live the whole life and righteousness of God. Oh, how to live a, 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 a life well pleased with God and, uh, and live in the doctrine of holiness, my dear Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. The messages are there. You want to chat me up and discuss some issues? Oh, I am free. You can do that by the grace of God. We reach to you. The Lord bless you. Oh, cause his face to shine upon you and give you a glorious day. In Jesus' name, amen. Lest I forget, our thought for the day says, Mercy triumphs over judgment. Oh, may we obtain this message from God. In the name of Jesus, just take time to pray today. Say, Lord, may I find mercy in your sight, O oh God. O oh Lord, may mercy and truth keep me. Oh, in the name of Jesus, amen. The Lord keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, and give you a glorious week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.